Good evening, friends. Welcome back to Elden Ring Shadows of the Earth Tree. My name is Master Fong. Where the hell are we going? I have no idea. There's so many options. Still, we uh, we had a lot of fun at the row ruins and various areas surrounding that this afternoon, especially the Rune Bear Forest. A lot less painful than I thought it would be. So now we've got options. We've got a lot of options. We've got the Church District. We've got the Shadow Keep. We've got the Cerulean Coast. And then, of course, we've got the Jagged Peak. And I think... I think I want to go to the Jagged Peak. Let's go, let's go mess up some dragons. We'll start there anyway. If we're not feeling it, we can always pivot. You know how we are with pivoting on this channel. You know, I haven't checked my scattered tree blessings or my runes in a while. Okay, I need three of those and I need three of those to get that higher. How about leveling up? What do we got for levels? Six levels in me, huh? And what is it? I need one intelligence to be able to use the throwing hammer. Oh man, I think, I think maybe. I, I think just maybe. I think, I, I think I'm going to put that one point into intelligence just so we can use the, uh, the smith script weapons. I really want to try that hammer out. I really want to try the hammer out. By now, I'm sure we have more than enough smithing stones to upgrade all the way. Yeah, come to think of it. See, let's uh, let's go to the round table real quick and see what this costs to upgrade. What am I carrying here? We need twelve of each kind, except for the last one. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say we've got twelve of every stone. Eleven ancient drag. Wow, we've really been rolling in the final upgrade material. That's amazing. And then we need one of each of this is a somber upgrade, which <laughs> we've got plenty of that too. I, I just... I feel like I gotta give this a try. It's just so much fun. Oh my god. The more I do it, the more I just want to keep doing it. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to the... I'm going to the table of lost grace quick. Let's, let's take a little peeky poo. See what this thing, uh, requires. Seeing as I've got now, what, 11 ancient dragon stones, there's a lot of weapons I can take to max. What can we put on Ash of Warwise? Uh, wild strikes. Oh, I've got double wild strikes here. Oh, we can put on the Savage Lion Claw. Barbaric ro I actually want to know what that does. Yeah, we don't have the other roar. Does this... Or a girl at least would be sure to rally the spoon because attack power active. Strong attacks change to a savage combo. Uh... Alright, alright. Hang on here. Hang on. Alright, I, I need to... I need to do some testing. Against my better judgment, we will at least throw one point into this. Just so I can see... There we go. We can see it's actual AR. And now, before I upgrade it, I, I want to see what, what the combo changes to. Ash of War me, Hugh. Let's throw on Barbaric just for now. Let's see here. Takes away deck scaling... Faith, Intelligence, and Strength. Gets a C in Strength, or a C in Dex for the Heavy and the Keen. Double Ds. Ooh, we got double Ds. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make it heavy. Because I am a strong boy. This should not be Barbaric War. Okay, let's, uh, uh, let's go to the Gate Front Ruins. And, uh... And do some testing on those poor sods.
Those poor, poor soldiers. All right, so we know what the heavy is. Big old spinning chuck. If we be... If we beast your roar, that should change the heavy combo. Oh, interesting. So, Ashes of War that change the heavy chain are actually kind of a detriment? Yeah, they're actually kind of a detriment to the weapon. Okay, that's good to know. So we don't want a roar. We, we don't want a roar enchantment on this. And I don't know if we've gotten any Ashes of War that work on throwing hammers. Plenty for throwing knives. Oh god, Gravitas? Oh no, not Gravitas, the, the other one where we buried in the Cragblade. <laughs> Maybe Cragblade. Oh, we can put this on. I want to see what this looks like. Just a dash, huh? All right, let's. let's... <laughs> Why is that the best thing in the world? How far can this sucker go? <laughs> Just... I think it did fade away. I think I think it does eventually fade away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> oh, we haven't even upgraded it. <laughs> That is hours of fun. It even knocks down knights. Come on, big boy. Come get you some. We dodged it. <laughs> Run away. Throw the hammer. Run away. Throw the hammer. All right. I I'm kind of in love. Get that, get that shit out of here. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Not even getting the heavy attack, but just being close and getting multiple hits in. Oh boy, the Godric Knight Gauntlets. I'm strongly considering upgrading this. We put one intelligence in, so we could also use the other smith script weapons. Not that I got anything that really fits. This, this thing, this thing takes the goddamn cake. Now, I, I swear I can put it on here. Where is it? Can I not put Cragblade on this? Let me see what the, this one is real quick. That's interesting, it actually does make like a needle on your foot. Conjure Stinger, landing a follow-up attack on a f okay. That's interesting, that is an interesting Ash of War. I wonder if you can use that to like fly off of a cliff and save yourself from fall damage. Hey, hang on here. There's no way I don't. Infinity following weapons. Yeah, it can be. Are, are you kidding? I don't have this? West of the impassable Great Bridge site in Kalid on a scarab near the Sword Monument. Alright, hang on. 
we're we're actually doing some some base game checking here. I never found Cragblade. I I must have missed so much with my first character, uh, and that's on me. All right, so it said west of this. Is it the scarab up there? I've really never killed this scarab. Wait a minute, no, 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 it's all coming back to me now. I do have Crag Blade, I just put it on a weapon. A weapon that I haven't used in some time. I think I put it on a flail. And then I shoved that flail in a box. And I put that box in another box. And I threw that box into the ocean. Where are you? And I honestly, I didn't remove the Ash of War. That doesn't sound like something I would do. It's something that I did. Wow. Uh, I can't believe I did that. Okay, so let's take Le Crag Blade off of this. Let's shove it on this. Because what else can we do? Or Frost Stomp. Oh, Shriek of Sorrow. Mm, it's the amount of H. No, 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 we don't want that. Oh, interesting. You can't put Crag Blade on a Smith script weapon. Okay. Maybe they thought that would be a little OP. I kind of understand. You cover a massive hammer in stones and then you throw it. I, I, I can see that being a little devastating. Yeah, no, I, I can't. There's a, actually a few Ashes of War that I can put on my normal Great Hammers that I can't put on this one. Well, that is slightly disappointing, but it is what it is. Uh, let me uh, put this stuff away, get my inventory back up to snuff. Mm, and this one already has Savage Claws on it. Let's put those away. Well, now we gotta now we gotta find an Ash of War that actually would work with this. No, not pray. Let's charge. Nah, none of this is doing it for me. None of these Ashes of War are actually particularly good for a weapon that we're we're hucking into the stratosphere. I guess for now, we'll put Savage Lion's Claw on it. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> never gets old. For me, it never gets old. Alright, Table of Lost Grace. Let's see what this takes to upgrade. One point into intelligence isn't going to kill me. Alright, so this is ordinary smithing stones. Strength going to be already. Oh, fuck it. Let's have a little fun. Alright, so when all is said and done, an A in strength scaling, not bad. What's the AR looking like? Wow! So I think the reach is probably less, but this is only four points below my heavy great mace with an S scaling in strength at heavy. Alright, alright, let's, uh, let's go have some fun with this. I want to test it on a late game enemy. I mean, I actually, I know what the damage is going to be. The damage is going to be nutty. Let's go to the prayer tree real quick here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this at a clean rot knight and see how he deals. 
Good morning, sir. How are you on this fine, fine holy day? Now, could you back up a little? I'm trying to test something. Sir! Oh, interesting. That did, like, nothing to him. Good stun, though. It does still knock down. All right, so it looks like the throwing is meant to not be as devastating as I thought it would be, but I mean, it makes sense. It turns every weapon into a projectile weapon. At the end of the day, if we never end up using this thing, oh well, it was still worth it. The big swing ding hammer is now a part of our inventory. And if there's something in the distance that we just don't want to deal with... <laughs> we never saw it coming. Oh, that's worth testing, actually. I wonder if this thing could take out multiple people. It doesn't look like it, though. Also, the stamina seems like it really takes a lot of stamina to throw. Again, you gotta have a trade-off. I understand that. Uh, but what I want to see is how this affects it. The Axe Talisman. Nine oh seven on that man. Yeah, fully charged. Hit him for 907. I know we're opening up with a lot of testing tonight, but I mean, look at this sucker. It's all for science. So that was 907 with that charm. Without, it does... 825. Okay, so that's... That's about 80 extra damage, which is nothing to sneeze at. So basically, knock them down with the first one, and then do a light one for the follow-up, maybe? Yeet! Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're going to be one-shotting anything. Unless maybe... Oh, alright, alright. One one more test here. I'm sorry, did, did you have something to say, sir? Okay, we can throw it over their heads. Not bad tracking, though. Really not bad tracking. Alright, there's, uh, there's one more thing to test. Maybe, uh, committing to a full-on throwing weapon build wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Not now, obviously, but, you know, eventually, maybe, one day, down the line. That talisman interests me. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, where is the smith script? Here it is. Enhances weapon throwing attacks. So if we combine the throwing talisman with the charge talisman... The returns are thusly. 998. So it's about, it's close to 180, 200 extra damage. If I'm, if I'm re okay, you can hit multiple things. And getting close, that's nasty. Just hit, just nailing them with that. That's actually a nasty multi-hit attack. This- this thing is so much fun. No. And then it's just bam, right back into your hand. Alright, well, we got an extra little bit of fun here. So now we've got Spectral Lance. And we've got the Throwing Hammer. Love it. Love it. I haven't really been using, uh, Syncadia all that much. So, uh, I mean, we just upgraded it. Let's keep it with us. Yeah, let's keep it with us. I'm not going to build in to the talismans. I don't think it's necessary. And we're definitely going to be doing more guard countering. But now we got a nice little bonus smacking tool. Let's see. I put all the weapons away I wanted to. Oh, yeah. Let's put away the Smith Script Shield. I'll deal with all of that nonsense later off stream. Uh, goodbye to you, and... Alright, we're good. Alright, back to the actual content. Mm. 
Uh, let's start at the dragon. Yeah, let's start at the jagged peak. Let's see what we can get. I imagine we'll have to face dragons, but dragons are a bit of a joke in this game. I feel like this has has probably a bit more range. This hammer seems a little short, but it's not too short. It's not the shortest hammer in the tool shed. No jumping throw, but we do have the running throw. Can we charge the running throw? Nope, the running throw is singular. Well, I found my new hunting weapon. <laughs> wow, that made them fly away, huh? All right, good range, not fantastic range. So the map of this wonderful place should be right down the road. And by right down the road, I mean actually quite a, a bit ways down, down the road. Hey, hello, Terran Cart. Again, I stand before you. This guy again. I never figured out how to heal him, and I'm really hoping I didn't fuck something up by missing him. All right, live dragon. The rest of those seem to be dead dragons. If you could throw the hammer from the horse, that would be incredible. As far as great hammers go, I, I really like the design. It's it's pretty simple. So it said they said that when Bale screams, he uh, makes the mountain erupt. Right? I really hope we're not going to get a death mountain type deal here. And you look at you. You've got no chance. Uh, these dragons are dead as dead. The sharp gravel stone. Found at the jagged peak on the south coast. The scale of an ancient dragon that has supped on the blood of lesser dragons. Chill. Chill. Hey! Wake up! Yeah, I said it. Oh! Jagged Peak Drake is a boss? I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be impressed. I'm really not. Still not impressed. I don't know why I just expected this to be a normal dragon. Oh, okay, he can do lightning. There we go, that's a little more boss-like. I've already killed plenty of uh, ghost flame dragons. Are you really what the dragon beak has to offer? So the range isn't as impressive as I thought it would be, but again, for no cost, it would be a little ridiculous. Hey, Gurgi! You are on Dagon Moonton? Oh, jeez, is that Thor's hammer? It, it, it kind of is, yeah. I decided to upgrade the Smith Script hammer because this thing's fucking hilarious. This, this thing is ridiculous. Come here, sucker. It's funny, it actually has very comparable to- Oh, that's weird, I blocked that, but whatever, that's gonna kill me. It's not gonna kill me! It is gonna kill me! What is happening? Where am I? Okay. Uh, yeah, I upgraded the Smith Script Hammer. Um, it just seemed fucking hilarious, and I had to, so we did. I may me I may leave in, like, jill an hour to try and get the boys to sleep. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. 
All right. Uh, not impressed by the Jagged Peak Drake or whatever his name was. Honestly, I don't think he deserves the boss, the health bar. All right. Enough gimmicking, too. Uh, we are going to go smack this man with all reliable. I'm not going to let the camera get the better of me this time. Oh, jeez. I was hoping to stream for a few hours, but if my ticks act up like this, I might need to cut it short. So this is how I began the fight. We, we, he was just minding his own business, and I told him to wake his ass up. No. I, I really just wanna, just wanna keep nailing him with the throw him. <laughs> Okay, so swing, swing, and then big overhand. There we go. Oh, he actually combos then into fire. All right, pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. I'm gonna get you to shut up, I am. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be good. And swing it for Jesus. Come on, give me that, give me that poise break. Oh, he's so scary. He's got little lightning roars. Oh, it's terrifying. Oh my goodness. Break the face. You gonna do the jump fire now? No? All right. I'm just gonna keep swing digging you. Yeah, I think the range is just a little bit less than my normal great mace. This guy is a one trick dragon. He's second gen dragon with lightning. <laughs> Hoi! <laughs> Got him! I could fight him on torrent and trivialize this fight, but no, I want to use the hammer. Oh, he actually turned back with that one. Okay. There's the jump. He's got less openings than other dragons, that's for sure. And he doesn't poise break easy. You got them weak wings. You got them glass wings, son. Come here. Life's unfair, I know. Have a time! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life with this. I'll have you all know. I'm just aiming for them teeth. Down here. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. Uh, Forty K. 
Dragon Heart and the Dragon Scale Flesh. Boosts Vigor, Stamina, Strength, and Dexterity at the cost of gradual HP loss. A lump of hot flesh carved from beneath the inverted scale set to grow on aged dragons. When ingested as is, boosts blah blah blah. To the Drake Warriors, there is no more intoxicating liqueur than the heat of dragons. Alright. Is this Hammer DLC? Hammer DLC? <laughs> this thing does look really clean, and I gotta say... Well, I mean, you guys know my feelings on being able to throw this thing. I really wish you could put Cragblade on it. It'd be hilarious to cover this thing in stones and then Yetus Deletus somebody. But that's what this sucker's for. We got our, we got our tried and true. Uh, so that's the way we came. I don't even know if we can go that way. The map, I think, is that way. Probably up all those windy bridges. This place is huge. The Jagged Peak is huge. Well, we can go this way, so there's something down here. Oh, yeah, 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 no, no. See that? No, thank you. Uh oh. Ah, tits. We're gonna kill each other, but it's gonna be worth it. I really should be looking for that map. It's fascinating that using charging the hammer almost aggro's enemies in the range that the hammer can be thrown. Where in God's name am I going? Nah, that's cool. I, I, I didn't ask for you to stand up and get in my business. No, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, no. Oh, I was right. That is a gigantic fucking thing staring at us. Okay. Before we go that way. Very rude, goat. Oh man, you took down the trees. Doesn't seem like there's much, but I will examine the other wall. Oh, hang on. All right.
Freaking bestial skeletons. Wait, is that a big one? Oh yeah, that's a big one. I do love the Executioner's Great Axe. Red Folger Bloom. Said to bloom where the red lightning of the ancient dragon strikes the earth. Something tells me this is all going to be a terrible time. Igon's cookbook. A record of crafting techniques left by a warrior who challenged the vile dragon Bale, only to be grievously injured, grievously injured and broken by fear. Contains details on how a mere mortal can fell a mighty dragon. Dragon communion grease, dragon communion harpoon. Sharp gravel, hefty bones, and string. Throw to inflict damage with anti-dragon effect. Harpoon bristling with sharp gravel stones. Throw at enemies to inflict heavy damage has an anti-dragon effect. A tool of the old dragon communion warriors who were the agents of the ancient dragon's hatred for their low-born descendants. Jeez, I didn't know the dragons were such racists. Alright. Alright, that's great. There's just... Massive areas for us to explore. We just fought a boss, and there's a grace right there, so yeah. Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. Hi there! Who are what are you? Warrior truth. Picture yourself. Feasting upon a dragon's essence. Are you coming on to me? Heart of the old vilest dragon of them all it would be the purest form of communion the fullest sating of your hunger never really been and that hungry as a dragon hole. i swear to yeah so far devour draconic essence do not partake uh perhaps you have yet I'm gonna- I'm gonna hold off right now. Thank you. I- I had some Draconic Essence before I came here. Just full up. Ghost Flame Breath? Ooh, transforms caster to dragon to speed the Ghost Flame. The land of Spirit Graves is home to all manner of dead, and even the corpses of fallen dragons found their way there. Several of them were endowed with such a vivacity that even in death they could not fully die. Communion with Bale. Or Bale. Bale's tyranny, Bale's flaming lightning. One of the greatest dragon communion incantations. Harness the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heat wave burst. Causes violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing art of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day. A lot of things we're learning here about ourselves and people. <laughs> Sm smash your pass, Gergen. Is that what we're going for? Smash. Grand Altar, Grand Communion, Dragon Communion, Priestess. Warrior true. Then, on the throbbing heart. Devour Draconic Essence. I just, I, I don't have a need right now to, 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 to devour Draconic Essence. Maybe in a bit, you know, just may, maybe in a little while. Let, let me think about it. Let me, let me ruminate. There are items on the wing of this massive dragon. 
and sharp gravel stone. So, Bale is the most vilest, most terrible dragon, and yet I'm literally walking on a mountain-sized creature. And we're all, we're all just okay with this? Is this, this, this normal? This is nothing to worry about? Looks like the path goes that way. Oh, lots of blue flowers down there. I definitely need to go get the map. This dragon is ten times the size of God, and yet you want me to fear Baal. Also trying to find sharp gravels. Um. Like, we thought the dread dragon that attacked the capital was big. This thing is as big as the capital. Torrent, you gotta- you gotta work with me, Torrent. Just a little bit of fucking precision, please. Okay. That leads over there. Up and around that big area. Alright, not quite ready to explore that yet. I know where it is if you want a hint. Yes, smash, but maybe after like a shot of you. Uh, you know where what is, Gergen? If you want to hit. Yeah, uh, you know where what is. The map? Counterpoint, what if Bale killed this giant dragon? No, exactly, that's what I'm saying, like... So, Bale's not as big, but he killed it? Uh, sure, Gerg, is it this map down here, or is it this map over here? Right, uh, east or south? A lot of dead dragons around these here pots. Okay, so this map is south. All right. That is a dragon harpoon. Really want to know who threw that sucker. Oh boy, dragon communion grease. Now we can grease up while we're communioning. I've always wanted to grease up during communion. Fucking yo? That's a lot of giant fingers. Indeed, visions of grace. It looks like maybe I get there via the Cerulean coast. If I follow that, I can get that grace and descend into the finger pit. The finger place kind of creeped me out. <laughs> Bale is not near the map. No, that's fine. I figure that Bale is probably up those, those rickety bridges actually sitting atop the jagged peak. I would like to get that map to the east, though. That's like a finger desert. All right, this is a bad idea. That's a bad idea. All right, bad idea, ho, bad idea, ho. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Come on, Torrent. Yeah, there you go. All right, Torrent, now pivot. Behold hole. Yeah, in a matter of speaking. Uh, you, you, if you build it, they will climb. 
People got up there. I see. Me oh, here we go. There's some messages up here. Can we get to the wingtip though? I feel like we definitely couldn't. But damn it, we're going to try. Oh, uh, look at all the bloodstains of people who have fallen to their miserable deaths trying to do exactly what I'm doing right now. All right, Torrent. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just right on up. Now pivot. Okay, we're going to fall off. They definitely don't want us going up there. Likely, dragon. You've cracked the case, Sherlock. Yeah, never been much for dragon worship myself. Never particularly had an urge to partake in the dragon communion or the suchery of the draconic variety. Oh, is that the tower? That is. That's the suppression tower. And then there's a map that's very far south. I want to go back, and I want to go towards the Jagged Peak. Just to get that map fragment, if nothing else, we can explore all this at a later date. I don't know if I'm going to face Bale tonight. I really want to get into the Shadow Keep, but I want to go down the Cerulean Coast, too. We, we dipped our toe into the Cerulean Coast, and I want to know what awaits us. Nothing but the gentle beating of rain upon the gravel side of the mountain and the hoof beats of my horse clapping their way to untimely demise. Oh, yep, there's a castle up on that hill we still gotta find. <laughs> I feel bad for this boss. This boss was <laughs> this 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 Drake got done dirty. That looks like the fingerprint shield, which is said to be the walls or, or the the lid to an ancient god's tomb. Yeah, I really want to go down to the finger desert. I really want to know what that's about. That shit looks fascinating. Emphasis on the ass innating. This map design is on point. See, unlike Dark Souls 3, I don't feel like I'm standing on the edge of a cliff. Right now, I don't, I don't feel like I'm platforming across a massive abyss. I actually feel like I'm moving through some mountains. Now, yes, there are massive cliffs, sure, but not all the time, everywhere. I agree, Eagles. Uh, th this this massive finger desert is very contemplative. But you still gotta pay the Elden Lord tithe. Okay, yeah, soon we should have a map for this area. I think that's where we're heading. Logic and reason dictates that's where we're heading. Oh, that's an interesting structure way out there. Ah, cliff. Hello, spirit spring yo. Before we spr- oh. Alright. Lots of skelly boys. Spirit spring, take me away.
We have reached the first rickety bridge, and there's a grave and a stairway, and I definitely feel like we're heading straight towards the boss. The wind's getting crazy, the lightning's kicking up. Foot of the Jagged Peak. Bunch of dragons fighting each other. I want to get in on that action. The same dragon peak trick. Didn't I already fight one of you? Could there be like two health bars here? No, you're you're torching that one. That's a lesser dragon. You're you're torching his ass. I'm gonna wait for you to finish what you started. Get them ankles. Get them ankles. Get them ankles. Oh, shit. Seem like this mace is doing less damage. Hmm. Youch! That fire! Fire hot, burn much. Oh, come on! You all know that didn't hit me. You all know that was bullshit. Lesser Dragon, I'm trying to have a fight here. Get, get fucked! Go away! Oh, Jesus Christ. These dragons are cheap fucking pussies. Pansies is what they are. up fuck you we're getting some bullshit with levels here but that that hit me okay sure I'm actually getting a little fucking pissed off at your audacity what is fucking going on here my fucking shield is up I should not be losing health like that. Get fucked. Dark Eater Madeer would like to have a word with you. Fourteen forty. Ah, 
uh, uh, mm. I'm a little pissed off by all that. What in God's fucking name is happening here? Why is my shield not registering? I'm not doing this fucking bullshit. This guy is more annoying than fucking Madeer. I really hate that combo jump and flame, I'm, I'll be honest. But the fact that he's hitting me through my shield is, is massively pissing me off. There's not a lot that has legitimately made me angry so far. Uh, one or two deaths to the dancing lion and one or two deaths to Rolana. I have been angry. That whole fucking fight just really pissed me off. He hit me no less than five times through my fucking shield. Give me your fucking knees. Do you even know what direction you're moving in, you piece of shit? The funniest part is that I already beat him. I beat one of these dragons, and it didn't feel as fucked as this guy. His hitboxes are annoying me. I need you to go away now. I, I, I need you to go away now.
dick bag. <sighs> okay, now that we're done with that. If ever one there was a fellow Drake warrior. Egon. Piteous Egon. Do you not remember? <laughs> Thanks, Gergen. Conjure your past. Getting between this marriage dispute. When fear was yet foreign to you. Oh, this guy again. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Drake Warrior. Dear friend. Grant me this one wish. Take this finger, my finger. Scale the jagged peak, face bale the dread, and when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. Hmm. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. And my soul yet lies on the mountain. <laughs> Igon's furled finger, so he wants to be summoned. Proud Drake warrior, scale the jagged peak. Summon me. Furled finger of Igon, the broken Drake warrior, gnarled and knotty and deeply discolored on the inside. When facing Bale the Dread, this summons Drake warrior Igon from his side. My soul yet lies on the mountain. Proud scale summon me. Okay. All right, so he wants to be summoned. Lord. Summon me. Uh, I imagine. Well, obviously that's where we're going next. Let me see if there's anything else up here besides that marriage dispute that, yes, we did get in between. Like, every now and again, this game fucking tests me. Every now and again, it, it, it just goes through my shield, and it's like, oh, you want me to roll? Okay, I can. I'm going to roll. I've beaten every Souls game without a great shield. I use it because I like to use it. But if you're going to be a fucking dick about it, I will put you in your fucking place. Just rude, you know? Just fucking rude. You picked up his cookbook not too long ago. Yeah, no, I remember reading about Igon saying that he faced the dragon but was beset by the worst fear. Uh... All right, let, let me go down and look at those skeletons. Those skeletons were guarding something below the spirit spring, so let me head back down real quick. then uh. all right let's just get smashing <laughs> smashing <laughs>
potentate cookbook hefty red lightning pot. Whole lot of nothing over here. All right, so it was just for the potentate cookbook. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's scale the peak. Damn, he's straight up dead. Well, at least we can summon his soul, right? Right. Dragon's color bloom. Exceedingly rare to find, a single flower is set to blossom only once from the hearts of dead warriors who oft partook of the dragon communion. Hmm, I'm beginning to think that maybe we're not going to get that map. Quite a magical area. Are, are you serious? You want me to get that skull? Really? No. Fucking no. Giant rocks, lovely, lovely. A scoutry fragment. All right, so we have to keep an eye out for falling rocks. Hmm. Another dragon that I don't think that's Bale. Might just be another Drake. Before we head to the top, though, I, I do want to go talk to that woman down there. I, I might partake in the communion she's offering. I mean, you're you're not Bale, right? It's so tiny! It's tiny! Like a single sugar puff! Ancient dragon Senesax. Okay. Uncalled for. Of course. Why is it always lightning? 
Oh, shit. Is that gonna be a theme? Facing the dragon in water? I think that's gonna be a theme. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. All right, hang on. Let's reconvene at Candy Mountain. Okay, so midway up this climb here, we have got an ancient dragon Senesax to deal with. You're... Senesax? Just forget me. I'm already gone. Just... Just... Just forget me. Forget I was ever here. Senesax, baby! You're coming down the mountain! You're getting awfully close! I, I don't... I don't see why... Yeah, I was gonna... I was gonna say, you really want these hands? You really want to catch this heat? <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's head down here and we'll look for that map that Sir Gergen mentioned. Love these dragons and their designs. God, I fucking hate fighting them. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I can I, I can admit you know their designs are great, their attacks are great. I've just never been a dragon guy. Dragons ain't like, hooray. For me. Warrior. Yeah, no, I'm feeling the hunger now. Let's devour some draconic essence. As it should be. Now, seek the jagged, and there you will find Bale, the oldest and vilest of all dragons. Landbound warrior. Follow your desire and slay the foul beast. Devour its throbbing heart. I will grant you the strength required. In the name of my lord. That's interesting. Ancient Dragon's Blessing. In the name of her Lord Placidisax. Ask about Bale. Lore! traitor assailed our master and inflicted a grievous wound, only to make a hasty retreat becoming a sworn enemy of the group. Since that day, Bale and his bloodline, the Drakes, oh. their sacrifices for Dragon Communion, landbound warrior. My lord, Placido Sax, has shown you <laughs> what must be done. Seek Communion. Sate your boundless appetite. Feel the euphoria of a dragon's essence taking root in your meager frame. Privy, landbound warrior. Have you seen of Placidisax? Do you know what's become of him? He's doing just fine. Yeah, no, uh, chatted him up real good up there in in Fair Missoula, he's he's thriving. He's just in his in his arena, sitting there like he always is. You know, last last I saw, last I heard of him, no no clue. Haven't haven't visited Placidisax in a while myself. I, you should go. You should talk to him. You should you should go see what he's what he's up to. <laughs> Damn it! I was just typing the same joke, lol. <laughs> well, great minds think alike. I serve Placidisax. Slay the traitorous Bale for my master. Uh huh. De I'm, oh, I'm definitely gonna slay Bale in Placidisax's name. You got it. In a time the foul becoming a since the land. Oh man, that that's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. I remember that name well. The broken Drake warrior, driven by bottomless hunger and fiery ambition. Precisely what the Dragon Lord envisaged for men who partake in Dragon Communion. The mad hunger and fierceness of spirit that only flows from those young and short of sight. I'm not the short of sight. Of in fact, such thoughts are unfathomable for ones as old as we. Yeah, you do look a little old. 
All right, let's see what we just got here. The Ancient Dragon's Blessing uses focus points to increase all damage negation. Favor bestowed by the Dragon Communion Priestess in the name of the Dragon Lord Placidus X. Consume FP to increase all forms of damage negation, including physical. This also increases damage negation while guarding as an additional effect. Each night, the Priestess offers her own sleep to her Lord and in turn receives the power of his favor. Does this give me a bad thing, like the Baldkin's Blessing? Doesn't look like it. I don't have any debuffs up there. All right, uh, uh, so I guess I'll hold on to that. Who are you? Just the Dragon Communion Priestess. Okay, uh, let's head this way because there is a map down here and I, I, re I really would like to be able to see this area in full. The red flowers bloom twice. Seca grow, red flowers bloom twice. Oh, yo, the Cerulean coast leads to an actual beach. Oh, guys, it's so damn pretty. Oh, it's so damn pretty. And I want to just frolic in the sand and kick my feet in the surf and murder a couple of things. Caro's Hidden Grave. Is it, is it hidden though? Is it hidden? Don't look too hidden to me personally. Okay, the angry hair worms are out in force. Angry and full of hair. <laughs> Gravekeeper's brain pan. What? Used for crafting, mainly found in Hidden Grave of Caro. Skull bone of an old gravekeeper, material used for crafting. The old gravekeepers are boatsmen and continue to summon the dead even after withering away. Cool. That's, that, that's, that's exactly what I wanted. This is what I asked Santa for. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. I might need to get that, see if it makes a difference on Bale. I mean, it, it ups our damage negation, and clearly they also want us to use the dragon harpoons. I was just gonna go in there, uh, just, just slapping. Gravekeeper's cookbook. Number two! Crafting techniques of the gravekeepers who watch over those who rest in the realm of shadow acquire the knowledge to craft a palter stone. What's a farger? A polter stone. No, this is all grief. Polter stone, grave cricket and spirit stone grave. Make a noise imitative of human presence. Contrivance of the grave keepers made from spirit grave stones. Said to have been used by the solitary grave keepers to distract themselves from their longing for company. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Though I made this out of dead crickets. I feel I'm sitting amongst thickets. And the boatsmen in their ethereal boating ways feel betrayed. Waiting for the sound of bonking. 
I mean, I'd also like to see you go slap and drag an ass. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we, we out here. We out here slap and drag an ass. We out here clap and drag and cake. Uh, that's the, yeah, that's the Cerulean Coast. I think down there is where I entered. I was dipping my toe in it. It goes all along here. God knows what's down there. And then it looks like it heads towards the beach and maybe even the fingerprint ruins. We also, we have the imbued sword key and we did find an imbued sword portal. I just didn't activate it yet. Fool said I, ah, you bony bitch. I'm gonna hit you till you twitch. And though you keep running, getting in the way of my funning. That dragon is fucking massive, man. Maybe, maybe he's not a boss? No, he's definitely a boss. And the map is st that's the Cerulean Coast map, though. Hmm. All right, detour up the hill to these gravesteads. Anything down there? Oh, is that a cave? It is not. Yes, nailed it. I was told there was a grave here. I was hoping to do a little grave defiling. Oh good, the hanging skeletons. Oh my god, so scary. No. Ah, go away. It's spooky. Oh my goodness, it's not even Halloween. Oh, wait a minute. You're a big one. Uh, the big ones I usually respect a little bit more. Oh, good strike, sir! Guys, I pounded his ass so hard he lost his head up top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. W in chat if you like getting your ass pounded so hard you lose your head. All right, some nice grape glove wart. The ghost flame bloom. Blossoms in the hidden cave of Kero. <laughs> of a pair with another graveside flower, the grave violet, all but incorporeal, it burns without so much as a sound. That was, that was wild, Torrent. I, 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 that was a really weird flex. The grave cricket! Crickets that produce a raspy cry. <laughs> so, you get the beautiful sound of crickets, you know. Imagine coming here and you just hear. Ah, the crickets are out. Nature is healing. Mainly found near stone coffins. The sound of these crickets are often taken to be the rustling of the restless dead or sometimes the sound of their calling voices. Oh. Children of the night, what music they make! Ah! Uh, I thought I was. One of those graves looked a little different. Like potentially, I could maybe read something on it. Nope, nope, nope. You know, I think what it is is that I'm very wrong. Ah, uh, uh, I think I, I think I'm just very wrong. But hey, we got some grave crickets to put in our pocket. Keep us from being sad. All right, so clearly we're going up to the top of that hill, but the uh, boat swaying down here keeps dodging my calls. Sweetheart, you were never that impressive.
Like, I'm gonna let you stand. I won't stand for you standing, you hear? Ah, that's a big one. He's up! He's down! Where, oh, where did my tibia mariner go? Mr. Tibby? Mr. Tibby, the mariner? Yoo-hoo, boner sailor! Alright, yeah, death birds. Shocker. Shocker, guys. Death birds. Call of Tibia! Ooh, that sounds fun. I was hoping for some more death sorceries, etc. Oh, and we got more Gravekeeper's Brain Pan. Is that man lost in the sauce, or is that a new type of enemy? Could you chill the fuck out with the scythe attacks? Okay, I'm getting off my horse. Where were you, half-buried Skeleman? Oh, okay, he's dead. Now... Call- use FP to summon one lost in death. An ancient ceremonial tool that uses a gravekeeper's skull as a catalyst. Craftable item. Use focus points to summon one lost in death at the spot that it's thrown. The creature spins and mows down foes in the vicinity three times before dissipating. The dead have long been left to wander. What they need is leadership. How doth I craft the call of Tibia? Oh, I guess I don't know how to craft it. I just found one. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Stupid chicken. Love it. Uh, 10 out of 10 would upgrade again. Guy, could you fix your pathfinding, please? Alright, I'll come to you, if that's what you want. Rings of Spectral Light. Fuck you!
so we do have to go find that tibia mariner that kept running away, but I feel like I'm missing something. I guess I actually expected, like, a grave up here. Sorcery practiced by the keepers of the spirit graves where the death ultimately drifts. Create rings of spectral light that fire in unison, charging enhances. The rings of light have the same qualities as ghost flame and deal magic damage while also causing frost buildup. Fucking dope? Can't wait to bring my mage here. So where even the hell am I right now? There is a lot to explore down there. There's a whole freaking death swamp, guys. This is ridiculous. Oh, son of bitch. This is a whole big area with a bunch of stuff and things to do. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for content. Let me go back and, uh... Find Mr. Tibby. You're just so strong. You just got so much poise. Unless Mr. Tibby disappeared down here, I I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Maybe he's been leading me further and further this way. Oh! Okay, I definitely want that. Karo's Hidden Grave, okay. Yeah, something tells me... Oh, no, there he is! Yo, I have never met such a scared Tibia Mariner. I have never met such a little bitch. All right. If, uh, direct confrontation ain't your cup of tea. You gonna actually fight me yet? I got boulders for days. Boulders for days. Okay, there we go. Mike, there's gotta be something. Tibia's cookbook. Oh, there we go, Call of Tibia. All right. 
Well, uh, we beat up a skeletal old man for no reason other than we wanted to steal his cookbook. Yeah, I think that was well-deserved, well-earned. Oh, I can actually get down to the Cerulean Coast from here. Hmm, we do have a grace up here now. Let me, uh, let me pivot real quick. Just jump on down here, see if I can shoot south to get that map. Hello, Cerulean Coast. Thank you, Great Grave Glovewort. So the map should be very close to me. That way. Hooray, the map! At least I can map at the Cerulean Coast now and get my bearings. Southern Shore. And a Mickle across. All right, dear God. Uh, okay. So here is the Jagged Peak. The Cerulean Coast, Terra's Hidden Grave. So that's where we started. We came over to this ruin, but we did not go down here to see what all of this is about and that area there. Don't know what that island's about. Right now, I am here. There's a big old path that leads up to some ruin. A bridge that leads this way. There is the massive dead dragon. We were heading up to the jagged peak. Oh, hang on. Is this a path? Did we miss this? I feel like we would have seen that. I also feel like there should be a grace somewhere in between here, but I could be wrong. Yes, all right, we got up there, there's Igon, and we pretty much stopped right around here where Ancient Dragon is. Well, you, you really just did that. Something else was supposed to happen. Uh... What, what where I killed the uh, Tibia Mariner? Tell me, tell me, t now that I murdered him. He, he just kept running away from me, so yeah, I, I beat his ass with rocks. What was supposed to happen? Was it supposed to trigger a boss fight? He summons a royal revenant? Oh, god damn it! I would have loved to have fought a royal revenant. It's just an average enemy, though, right? It's just an ordinary royal revenant? It's not like an, a special named royal revenant or a boss or something? I wonder if that's what the tibia summons does. Just average, but man, my surprise when that happened. Yeah, no, I bet having a tibia mariner summon a royal revenant would have been something. Uh, okay, so here's the finger desert. Super interested in going down there, seeing what that's about. Looks like the access point might be to our left here if we follow the coast. I'm gonna go up to that mickle across and then... I might go back and finish out Kara's secret grave. Man just kept fucking running away. It's not my fault he was the tibia pussy. Nectar blood version. A young shoot heavy with velvety purple nectar. Sent to burgeon forth where the nectar-like blood of abandoned Trina pooled. 
Carved words coalesce. I abandon here my doubt and vacillate. Vacillation? I don't know what vacillation means. That's rare to me I come across a word I don't know the meaning to. I'm gonna have to look that up. My doubt and vacillation. I abandoned here about a liter of piss from the lemonade that I drank. Well, whatever that circle in the bay is, I can't actually see it. Nothing down here, okay. Oh, get fucked! Oh, get fucked! It's the orbs! The orbs are back and they look like they're frostbite electric! I didn't ask for this, Dad! I didn't ask for this! Leave me alone, old man! These things are lethal. Now I at least know where I'm going and what I'm looking at. More or less. Okay, there's a path that way. There's a high road and a low road. Anything by the old tree? St. Trina's Disciple, a record of crafting techniques left by a disciple who pursued the teachings of the Saint of Sleep. Yet what seemed a gentle sleep at first ripened into velvet. Eternal Sleep Pot. <laughs> uh, I think there's another word for eternal sleep, guys. Can anyone tell me what it is here? Throne calls buildup of eternal sleep. <laughs> what does eternal sleep mean? Because that just seems like death to me. The weak are powerless to resist this velvety sleep and will never be roused again. Dude, I bet the Godskin apostles hate this sleep pot. Yeah, yeah, there are orbs here. Thanks! All right, Cerulean Coast has got a lot to it, including all of these ruins with super upgrade material. Oh, oh dear, that's high up. <laughs> Gotta make sure we hit all of these pillars. Oh God. Ride like the wind, Torrent. Show us the meaning of cowardice. Well, there's definitely something up the hill there. Oh, God. God, there's just so much. There's just so much. And my brain, I don't think is... I, I don't think I can do it tonight, guys. Well, we got the map. We got the map. That makes me feel good. We made it to that elder's hovel, but what is this section? All right, so we're halfway up the jagged peak. We've got the finger desert, the rest of the cerulean coast. I'm going to finish up the red here. I'm going to finish up this whole area with the hidden grave. We can look down in there, see what that's about. 
We can wrap around this coast later. We, uh, we did not get to the Shadow Keep tonight. We didn't get to the church district either. We still haven't gotten down here. We got to this poison area and we went through to the to the row, but we still haven't gotten down there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting afflicted with sleep myself. Maybe it's eternal sleep. Maybe St. Trina's blessed me. Oh, that means that this is a second, that's a finger desert. So this is a finger desert. And this is a finger desert. Interesting. Alright, alright, let's let's cut let's cut myself off here. Let's go finish out the Caro's hidden grave area. We killed the tibia, we got some clothes. Maybe there'll actually be a hidden grave here. Uh, one would deign to think. All right, uh, I guess we'll make big circle. Touche, you chicken fuck. Surprise boulder! That's, um... That, that's, that's not your average bird. That's a boss bird. That's a boss. Oh, and he's got the big wings, too. Oh, he's got the big wings ripe with the spirits. Oh, that's very not good. No, oh, okay. Not as scary as the one outside Nicholas Halick Tree. Pretty scary, though. Still pretty scary. Yikes, big scream hurt. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, Jesus fucking tits and ass. Uh, yeah, he's got the spirit arrows. Oh, thank you. That was kind of helpful. He's exploding. Oh, man. Man. Come on. I haven't found the map to the upper finger place yet. Neat. Uh, the map up here? I'm pretty sure that was the, that was the map from Skaldu Altus that uncovered that. I think. You know what? Maybe the rock is the way to go for this guy. Alright. We're fighting the death right bird. Can you do me a favor? 
and kill that bird peon because he's really juking up my jive here. Take that! And what are these? Ow, my face. Maybe not worth. Maybe not worth. I wish it was worth. I tried to make it worth. In hindsight, that was very dumb. It was, it was, it was it's, it's very, very dumb in hindsight. I feel that it happened to me too. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting tired. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it soon. As much as I do just wanna, I really do just wanna sit here and play the tits off of this game. I need to take a break. I need to lay down. I need to stretch my legs. Where are all the bitches that keep getting in the way of my fight? wings look so cool. Like, the black void with the spirits just like, it's so cool. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I dodged that, but uh, you know, who's to say, really? The hammer's actually working pretty well. <laughs> this runaway and fling hammer actually pretty, pretty nice. Shit. Stop backing up! Well, we are really just bleeding this man down with the hammer toss of justice. Source of justice. Ooh. Ooh, I we. Oh, God damn it. If ever there was a time for the stupid fucking birds to get in my way. All right, let's finish this up.
Nope! Whatever you were gonna do, just put a fucking death sock in it. 358 large. Ghost Flame Call. I'm, I'm very happy to get more uh, Ghost Flame Sorceries, though. Oh, it's an Ash of War. Swords and Spears, Small Armaments, Twin Blades, Backhand Blades, accepted. Ghost Flame Call. Thrust out armament to summon Ghost Flame Fall, but the normal attack to set the ground ablaze of Ghost Flame or strong to trigger an explosion. Oh, okay. It's the Ash of War that the poker has, but now we can put it on swords. Usable on swords and spears. Oh, that's really cool. Ah, that's awesome. All right. I'm, I'm glad we got that. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what, guys? I really want to finish this area, but my my ticks are... I don't know if you've noticed. It, it's subtle. You know, I hide it well. My ticks are on fire right now. My whole body is just moving and grooving and aching, and uh, I'm, I'm going to call it here. That was a good boss fight to end it. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I hope this was uh, an enjoyable stream tonight, even though we, I don't think, I think of all the streams I've done so far, we did the least here. We explored multiple areas. We found, you know, what, technically th three bosses, because we fought the two Drake uh, dragons, and we fought, oh, we fought the death bird. Uh, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take a break, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe morning, noon, or night, you know, all, all time, any time is Elden Ring time. So thank you for being here. My name is Master Fong. Uh, please check out my Twitch and YouTube if you feel so inclined. I will see you next time, where we will, uh, potential roadmap, and you guys know I'm so good at adhering to a schedule. Uh, we will definitely start with this area. I will finish up everything that is here on this raised red area. Uh, if that leads over to this, this cliff area, we'll do that too. And then we might go straight to the Cerulean Coast, clear out everything we can here, uh, run up this cliff, see what this is about. Maybe we'll go along the coast to the to the Finger Desert, or we, we might try and climb the, uh, the peak and slay Bale the Dread Dragon. Um, I mean, eventually, like, don't worry, eventually, maybe, probably, we'll get to the Shadow Keep in the Church District. We've got to go there eventually, and I do really want to know what this north area of the Skadu Altus is, as well as, uh, what about Second Finger Desert? So we got to, uh, we, we, we've got to do all of that. We've got to find the map fragment and the land piece here. I think this is the whole map. So we have, we've discovered, I believe, the whole map. Well, you know, save for this part. And maybe potentially uh, underground. There, there might be underground. I don't know. I don't know how many bosses are left. I, I don't know how much of the main story there is to do. Um... I still have to potentially suggest someone for Needle Knight Letta to kill. We've got Theolier's tincture concoction mixture. I don't know what that's about. We've got to go find these ancient ruins. Something to do with the star processional. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. Uh, but the general roadmap for tomorrow's stream is going to be starting here. And maybe, or maybe ticking off a bit of this southern area. And uh, probably fighting Bale. I think Bale is, 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 is an optional boss. I think the Dread Dragon it doesn't tie into the story at all. And everything's going to die by our hands. Uh, so thanks, guys. I will see you all later. I'm going to go lay down and have myself a nice little snooze for maybe 12 hours. Bye-bye.